Which RNA-seq techniques should I use? It's one of the most common questions I hear from researchers interested in RNA sequencing. Hi, I'm Gene. Over the next few minutes, we'll discuss how to answer this question and get you one step closer to designing your NGS project. The term RNA-seq encompasses a wide range of assays. Here are a few of the most common ones. They all use NGS in some way to analyze RNA sequences, but they differ in several technical aspects, including how the sequencing libraries are constructed, the technology or platform used for the sequencing reaction, and how the data is analyzed. There is no one-size-fits-all solution, as each assay gives you different information about the transcriptome. So, how do you choose the right RNA-seq technique for a particular project? You need to consider several factors, such as the target RNA. Are you interested in coding or non-coding RNA, or both? Your starting material. For example, can you generate an ample amount of RNA, say 500 nanograms? And is there a reference transcriptome available for your organism? But the most important one, above all, is the objective of your experiment. It's essential to define your biological question precisely. The more specific, the better. A well-defined objective will tell you what type of NGS data you'll need to meet that objective, and in turn, which RNA-seq assay is best to provide that data. To help you navigate this selection process, we've created this decision tree. The blue boxes represent objectives or requirements of your experiment, and the green ones at the bottom are RNA-seq assays. Let's say you're looking to quantify gene expression and you're only interested in coding sequences. Then mRNA-seq would be the most appropriate and cost-effective approach. Perhaps you're interested in alternative splicing. Then isoseq or isoform sequencing would be the way to go since long read technology captures the full length sequence of mRNA with high certainty. Please keep in mind that these guidelines are by no means exhaustive but they should provide a good starting point when designing your NGS project. For a deeper dive into this subject, I recommend downloading our ebook, A Guide to RNA-Seq. The link is in the video description. It will give you more information about each RNA-Seq assay and provide helpful tips on achieving the best results for your RNA-Seq experiment. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Remember, seek more, learn more. Take care. Bye.